Je vais repasser en français pour... Switching back to French in the original, um, uh, not Russian for time being, but I'll, I promise I will give it a go next time. So, without further ado, un aspect important du développement de cette... Be looking at an important aspect of this ecosystem, which is about the uh, entities, people, companies that will allow users, all of us, to acquire and use Franken's addresses, which are uh, like any other entry point. The uh, unavoidable uh, the m step to be able to operate at the frozen site. So, to tell us about this in more detail, both both in terms of the offer and the, the work. Des entreprises qui linking with companies who work in with domain names and discover different types of addresses. I would like to welcome to the stage Romal. Romuald Young, who is in charge of the development of this ecosystem. So uh, thank you for joining us. I know that you have a few guests uh, with uh, you who kindly agreed to join us in the room, whether in flesh or online. I think one of the three uh, people is online. So uh, would you uh, introduce them? I'll, I'll let you do this, okay, as I have this uh, list. So we have uh, David, David Orventire from Wintetic. He's a lawyer. If you be kind enough to stop you uh, chatting uh, with your neighbor and join us, thank you. And Matthew Bear from Safe Browns by a nightclub. Uh, 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 mail club, sorry, it was not my club. Uh, no shorter names. Uh, he's in charge of the legal department and partnerships. And I think we have someone uh, online, uh, Jean-François Poussard from Pro Domains, who, who could not be with us tonight. Yeah, Jean-François Poussard could not be physically present here, but he uh, gave me a short interview which we recorded and will be able to uh, air later on in the, the evening. I was looking for a roaming microphone. Uh, well, here it is. Well done. So as you have the microphone, over to you. Uh, good evening. So Romuald, the people in the room know you maybe if they were attended the uh, the first Frogan Technology Conference, maybe they've met you as part of your work uh, in the development of the ecosystem where you have to meet a number of stakeholders in uh, this field. But for those of you who would not know you, could you describe your role at OP3FT and this uh, very specific mission concerning the development of an ecosystem? Uh, well, um, good evening to all of you. And beautiful to see you for the second edition of the FTC. Uh, it's my pleasure to work in the promotion team with uh, jean Manuel, Stéphane, Tom, and Jérôme, and Gwendal who is also here. This um, promotion team uh, has been working uh, rather intensively over the last few months. And uh, in this team, I am in charge of the notion of ecosystem. What does that mean? Well, there are several ways to describe it. If you get back to the DNA of the Frovence uh, project, it's quite easy to understand. And at the risk of uh, being uh, redundant, uh, the Frovence technology is uh, dismantled in the form of an open stand that is free of charge and open to all. It means that all technical specifications, such as those Benjamin works on, Ben uh, and then with his team, so the software development, the legal the framework is m made available to the communities. If on a free of charge basis so that they can develop their own activities. Developing your activity means intellectual, intellectual activity. It can be profit making. It can be all types of activity. And our daily work is to go out and meet all the players in this ecosystem. We spoke about ICANN. 
We could also meet with developers. We could meet with graphic artists and hosting uh, companies. Uh, all the people revolving around this uh, ecosystem to present them the technology, the work that is uh, done by OB3FT to uh, see how they can get positioned uh, with respect to our technology and uh, if they see any opportunities. Okay, so uh, in view of this uh, variety of uh, actors that uh, you that revolve uh, around you and that you need to meet, I suppose that you don't meet all of them at the same time. So, in terms of your development of the program, this your activity, can you tell us about what, how you're doing in terms of developing the ecosystem? Well, it's true that. Essentially, we uh, address a rather vast ecosystem. Uh, during the first conference, we um, depicted the, this ecosystem, which included over 50 different uh, uh, specializations and trades. Uh, but basically, it's a, a lot about addressing. Uh, great work has been done for the uh, frequency addresses and anything that revolves around the ecosystem, the world of addressing, and so on. So to Today, we are uh, essentially working on these players, uh, working on the addresses, and our top priorities, there are two of them. The first one is to uh, sensitize all the um, trademark holders across the world because the introduction of these new addresses uh, is very powerful, will allow for many types of uses and innovations for all the people working in this sector. On the other hand, it may have an impact for trademark holders. Therefore, our role as a non-profit non making company for is to warn all uh, these people of uh, the potential use of these addresses. So first, we need to have an information campaign to tell these uh, trademarks about the existence of such addresses. The second point is to uh, sensitize the people working on the addresses about the existence of this new specialization. And we're quite proud to be able to do this work on daily basis this new job is the FCR account administrator uh, with Matthew and David we can say more about this in a few moments but to um, clarify what is the job or function of an FCR account administration uh, they are to the frequency technology what the registrar registrar are to the domain names if you want to register a domain name you go to registrar uh, that will um, register you the, the name for you. Now, when you want to register a frequency address, you can turn to uh, these intermediaries, the FCR account administrator, who will help you do this. There's registering the names. So um, we are, in a way, evangelizing uh, for, on this new job, on this new function, FCR account administrator, and we are fortunate to have an, a number of players who have uh, uh, decided to join on board, and I will now leave them the floor. So the first, uh, uh, the first FCR account administrator I would like to ask a few questions from is you, Matthew Bear, from uh, Safe Brands by Mail Club. You were joking with the name, but uh, I'll tell you more about it. It's, uh, this is why we have uh, an extra bit at the end, by Mail Club. So maybe you can tell us about your business and your role within uh, Safe Brands, and maybe you will tell us about the, the name change as well. Whatever you, you well, first of all, I'll introduce myself, Mathieu Bear. I'm in charge of the legal department uh, initially for the uh, mail club company. Uh, just a few words about this first company, Mail Club. Uh, we were talking about um, registrars. In fact, we started Mail Club uh, 17 years ago, selling email addresses, and hence the name. And uh, soon it turned to the management of uh, domain name portfolios. We are today 
um, a service provider like a registrar, but also a consultant for uh, uh, internet naming. We uh, specialize in the um, management of uh, domain name portfolios for uh, trademark holders or cabinets firms uh, matching these names for their clients so we can manage these names for with all extensions that was our core business for a long time and uh, gradually other uh, uh, functions or roles uh, were added on top so that uh, we started opening to uh, um, internet naming uh, consulting. We work with our clients on anything that can relate to the protection or visibility of their brand on the internet. That means uh, registering names, uh, uh, definition of a strategy, um, upstream, uh, surveillance uh, uh, watch on names, uh, on social media, etc. And we we uh, also go all the way to defending the brands if needed. So the, this new uh, commercial name, we launched a new site recently with this name to reorient the, um, uh, reframe uh, our name better with our business and new activities. So within the company, I'm in charge of so our legal department, which is uh, uh, doing legal, traditional legal work, so like uh, buying back uh, domain names, et cetera, and legal analysis, well, I'm also in charge of the relationships with our uh, providers, suppliers, um, our programs for this particular technology, which is why we are here tonight. Thank you. So here, indeed, you can see our site which presents all of our activities. And uh, you see, uh, uh, we have a dedicated part, a part dedicated to the program's uh, project so that we can tell our clients what this project is about, how it works. And our company works on the basis of uh, <laughs> We have account managers for a number of clients. We have an internet site, but there's nothing like uh, the human face-to-face -face relationship, which uh, is something we put an emphasis on. And as you said, you, you know, very early on uh, positioned yourself as an FCR for uh, account administrator. So why, um, you, you, why did you decide to do so? Was it something? Uh, that resulted from a watch or uh, the promotion that was done at OB3FT. Well, it's true that we are doing constant watch uh, in terms of um, intelligence work, trying to be aware of all the technologies uh, uh, around about uh, internet naming and many other things. So the, the meeting and our investment in this project uh, happened through the, the work done by Romuald and the organization, uh, we talked a lot with Romuald in particular, and, 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 and the aim for us was to be able to inform our clients also because beyond information, we believe in this new project and the new alternatives offered by the Provence project in terms of, of uh, addressing. And our, Clients have needs of uh, protection, but also needs of visibility. Maybe they are looking for new alternatives or they would like to have some new uh, possibilities uh, for communications. So that's what we found so attractive uh, in this uh, project, um, and which uh, offers uh, many uh, possibilities. So you see um, scrolling uh, uh, at the back, uh, the Safe Brands by May Club uh, website with its first offering. I can see here the tab for uh, registering your fragrance addresses, uh, register your network. So it is possible to say that you uh, do, um, you help your clients uh, uh, getting to know uh, the fragrance pro pro project. Yes, we inform them but we also help them uh, initially by 
uh, educating uh, educating our clients, uh, uh, telling them about the benefits of the project and the way the, the technology works, so that we can, uh, um, after that, show what uh, possibilities there could be for them and be uh, able to help our uh, clients for the uh, registering, but also the way to use the network. So our aim is to have a rather comprehensive uh, offering in terms of information, but also support uh, in helping our clients uh, for registration. But registration, the re registering um, and an address is easy, but what you want to do with it uh, is, uh, and is another story. We see that many domain names are not being used, so our aim is to insist on innovation in terms of usage. Thank you, Matthew. So maybe we'll um, uh, remind everybody of the URL is safebrands.fr slash Rogan. So that's the way you can get to the programs uh, project, which uh, uh, appears under the digital identity tab. Uh, so anybody interested, uh, can uh, contact you for further information. Thank you. And now, David. Over to you. You attended the first um, uh, FTC. Some of you here know you, and you're part of the Wittetic uh, um, lawyers firm specializing in the protection of uh, intellectual property, sorry. And you are also positioned as a, an FCR account administrator. It's a bit special because I'd like to re, um, remind everybody that you're a barrister, you've founded the uh, the Wichetic firm, so you're not essentially working on domain names, uh, as uh, was the case for uh, Safe Brands by a Mail Club. <laughs> so please, uh, it's, uh, no, it's true. I'm not working in the same slot. Uh, it might be surprising, but it's true. Um, of course, I'm a lawyer by a trade, and um, but I have a dual training because uh, I, I spent some years in the, in the UK and France. So didn't mind uh, getting me back. I don't know whichever. I don't know if it was perfect Albion, Albion that uh, got rid of me. But uh, anyway, this uh, gave me. Um, uh, maybe a different twist in terms of communication and uh, setting up a company, an SME or a physical person on the web. The other thing is that uh, right from the early 1990s, I wrote a memo about uh, domain names as being something distinctive. Everybody thought I was crazy. Maybe I was not far from the truth, actually. So it was quite uh, natural that I would find myself here as an FCR administrator. I'm sorry, I, I got a bit mixed up. So, uh, um, says the uh, moderator. So you position yourself as an FCR account administrator as well. Could you tell us? what you uh, offer your uh, clients uh, with respect to the Frogans project. So to start with, there's the fact that you reserve either the network or the addresses. But there was another aspect is that our clients are going to ask us about it quite naturally. There are some people I already told about the Frogans yesterday. We heard the word, the key word, security. It's true that it's a secure uh, technology, but also beside this, you have the possibility of um, having uh, infringements on the uh, trademarks law. 
by the fact that uh, uh, third parties will be using not the name but the content and, and the clients that use the, the network must uh, follow the rules so they need uh, advice as to what they can do, uh, how they can do it like you would do it in the, you do this in the virtual world today and or like you do in the real world. So to put it in different words, the Frogan's technology in what it uh, proposed raises uh, IP uh, related questions and therefore this is uh, from this angle that you can uh, contribute your expertise to your clients. Oh, well, I, hopefully so, yes. Well, it's more uh, in terms of uh, uh, advice, what you should, what uh, the client wants to reserve or and how. Uh, for instance, cyber squatting would be mean certain things. But, uh, but also, I want to communicate, and how do I want to communicate, uh, the client says. Uh, you've got the web, you've got, and you've got the fragrance, and it's a natural choice that will uh, be made by the clients. We don't quite know what the clients or the, the actors will be doing in the future. What I see clearly there is something that will be targeted according to what people want to be doing according to what are their objectives. And so for this, the clients of the future Frogan's address holders must be wondering what they want to do, what content they were to put in the, these sites. Uh, will there be links to other things, and why do they want to have these links? So this will mean um, copyrights-related uh, issues, uh, IP-related issues, and so on. So you have a full range of services that you offer your clients around the fragrance uh, project with uh, Wittetic, your um, IP uh, consultancy is uh, absolutely fascinating. So we um, you open your blog because you, you have a dedicated blog. So you will have a blog dedicated to the fragrance technology. Okay, yeah. And uh, you have the uh, address up there, blog, uh, hyphen uh, So um, it, it's interesting to look at these uh, URLs, whether that of the safe brands by Mail Club and uh, and that of uh, Wittetic. It's the use of Frogans uh, in the URL because Frogans is a brand held by OP3FT as a part of its uh, uh, endowment or dotation. Um, but we were talking about a technology that is um, disseminated as in the form of an open standard. This is another facet that is possible to use uh, the brands of OP3FT to promote initiatives that are uh, closely related to our fragrance project, to put it in different terms. If you also uh, like Safe Brown or Wittetic or Pro Domains, which we are going to listen to in a few uh, moments from now, if you would like to get positioned on the fragrance project and become an FCR account uh, administrator, uh, be aware that uh, OP3FT will be supporting you by allowing you to use these uh, brands these names uh, according to certain uh, terms and conditions that will be detailed in a, um, a document to be published um, later. Romuald, uh, maybe that's something that you you tell your, your uh, counterparts. While you set up the video, I will um, uh, take the floor. Thank you, David, for your contribution. And I'm speaking under control of Julie, who is the uh, legal, uh, uh, the managing uh, manager of the legal department uh, to use the, the, the brand programs. It's related to license and uh, use of license. And as a player in the ecosystem, it is our role to be able to allow, uh, say, to allow um, the users to use the Frogans uh, brand and for AP3FT to protect its brand so that it be used under the best possible conditions. So while Jean-Emmanuel um, sets up the video uh, where we have Jean-François, the head of the uh, Pro Domain, who is now in New York and could not be with us in flesh, I'd like to uh, get back to one point. Come back to what you do as intermediaries. There's a key word that I forgot when I said intermediaries earlier, 
a high added value intermediary. That means in addition to being an intermediary, you provide advisory services, supervisory services, a vision that you give your clients. And this is how it's interesting to call on FCR account administrators when you have a Frogan's publication. About Jean-Francois, before the conference, we organized an interview that I think you did it, Joy Manuel. I'll give you the microphone, and I think we can broadcast it now. Alors, en attendant que Operator. <laughs> Operator. Okay, while well, the video is uh, being fixed, I'd like to talk about recent updates in recent weeks. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry to interrupt you live first. Bonjour, Jean-François. Hello, Jean-François Poussin. Thank you for accepting this interview with me, with us, for the Forgan Technology Conference, too. Thank you. You are the general manager of ProDomain. Could you introduce yourself in just a few words, as well as the activities you carry out? Yes, ProDomain is a domain name department of a company, Systemic, which is a company close to Bordeaux, Pissac, founded in 1989. So it has seen lots of different cycles with the CD-ROM, the Minitel, and so on. It has four businesses, hosting, certified ISO 9001, secondly, creating websites in two departments with respect to domain names. Pro Domain, which is our uh, registrar activity, and also a technology brand, a technology that allows us to carry out supervision with respect to domain names, 25 employees based in Pissac, Bordeaux. We also have an office in Bretagne for a company in .zh. And we also uh, help large brands, companies, local authorities we help in their strategy for domain naming and in new technologies as well, such as e-business. A fine transition because ProDomain was quickly positioned as an early FCR account administrator once it was possible. And you will soon be proposing the registration of Rogan's networks and addresses. Could you tell us why? you decided to position yourself now on Forgan's technology. In general, in the company, our company's philosophy, we're always interested in innovation. That's a part of our DNA. I'd heard about the project for several months now. We came into contact with AFNIC, with whom we can work supporting them in projects such as Dot Leclerc, and it was then that we spoke about Dot Frogans. There was a call for tenders to become the preferential or preferred registrar for Frogans, and in that respect, we started to work on the project after we were selected. We subsequently received a presentation with Ronwald in Hong Kong and they dis uh, explained the launch. And we wanted to support the project and be identified as an ad administrator. And we're trying to obtain this type of certification in all our businesses. So it's very logical for us to be able to support this project with great interest. And uh, we really would love to see how, well, if Forgan's technology will unfold. We often hear about the technology around us, and very often they evoke the internet as a symbol. You all, we all know the dot-com, which is the reference. But in recent times, Twitter 
with the H tag has become an internet symbol. I hope for everyone that the four guns asterisk will become one of the future symbols of the internet. Well, at any rate, that's what we'll be doing with this type of conference to make the technology better known. So with the forthcoming opening up of four guns networks and addresses and the preferred registration period for owners. I th hope that you'll be able to set up an offer for your clients with respect to registering for GANS networks. Can you tell us about that? Yes. We're now finalizing a dedicated line site to be put online to present the project and our offering for the various corporations interested in being positioned in buying the network, be it for their brand or for descriptive names. Someone whose domain name in luxury would like to have a luxury star. So I think th this is an interesting strategy for the various private or public entities that would like to be positioned. You can also use geographic names. So we have this site that will be launched. It will be available, and Juan Newald will be able to present it to you live on Monday, I believe. And uh, we'd like to arouse interest, because clearly this site is there to to keep people abreast with new developments linked to program technology and the launch agenda, and also to organize meetings with people who, people who are interested. It's a big change in terms of domain names and also a big change in cost. So it's all about being able to be identified as a pioneering administrator accompanying, supporting the various entities interested. Very exciting. Not only are you a pioneer for the opening period, but you're also starting to support your clients in reserving generic names for their networks with Forgans. Yes, we propose both options on the website. We will quickly make it possible to check to see if there's a network available online using your database. And that is a feature that will appear soon. And that will promote awareness amongst the various people involved. So be it for generic names, geographic names, brand names, it's a brand new digital territory that's been opened with infinite possibilities. It's up to the right people to know how they should be positioned in the coming months. Or to put things differently, once we open up a service, Pro Domain will be there and will immediately through its dedicated website for registering exactly, that's it, for for against addresses. Oh, fine summary. Thank you, Mr. Poussa. Thank you for accepting this interview. I know that you are very busy indeed. And I'm delighted for us to be able to watch this interview during the conference that will be held next week, because it will be on Monday, and Tuesday, 29th and 30 uh, of September. And we will stay in contact with ProDomain and Open3FT for further events. Thank you, thank you, Sue. Thank you, and see you soon. Thank you, Jean Emmanuel and Jean Francois Poussard for that interview that was uh, organized last week. Before I come back to the auditorium to open up the question, gentlemen, unfortunately, I can't put the question to Jean-Francois, but we can ask you, you are in the front line when it comes to deploying technology. Let's say you are pioneers in your approach. Could you give us an idea about how your clients or the people with whom you speak about the product receive it? How do they feel about it? Because in fact, uh, outside of OP3FT, you are the first ones to sell the project, so to speak. Well, yes. 
This technology didn't just come out, but for lots of new clients, it's not obvious for some in my eyes, given our clients, it's not easy for them to deal with it. We also had to work a lot on the benefits in view of the parallel, well, the arrival of new extensions in terms of domain names. That means having to think about the strategy for naming and communication. The way we present it is by looking at the benefits, having a new and different space, offering possibilities. David spoke about whether or not it will be complementary or will it be a replacement communication technology. But at any rate, there is a really different interest in it. Our clients are very much curious to know how we'll be able to use all of this. So we receive a lot of questions regarding the possible ways it can be used. And now it's more visual. We saw the first demo earlier. We also received a lot of support to be able to present the technology to clients. So it's very well received. To draw a parallel, even though it's different, is a bit like for new extensions in domain names. We would wait and see. So it things are, it's still a bit difficult, but I think and hope that there will be more and more interest in the coming months. Thank you, Matthew. Before the mic gets over to David, let me just ask you to uh, take a look at the pro domain website that we didn't see. David, not quite the same question, but don't be afraid. I hope I have the answer. <laughs> Is it very difficult to switch from a domain name environment that people are more or less familiar with, but not very well? Because it's been years now that we've been talking about it, but we often realize that it remains quite obscure for people. To move to an environment like this in terms of the commercial approaches I spoke of earlier. Well, no one knows the internet. So from then on, it's not difficult. All you have to do is to be very educational, pragmatic, and to look at the benefits. It's not about wanting a program's address, domain name, or an iPhone 6. It's really that it's all about explaining what it is used for and why. It's simple. It's not complicated. It's a choice. And I communicate like that. There's another approach that I like to use. I don't take them in the cradle. I won't say that. But when I, I'm lucky to teach in several business schools and at a, a, a communication school. It's all about communication. I'm talking about babies. Internet is something I'll explain. You won't understand the thing. It doesn't matter. And then you have four guns. And these people, in six months or two years, will be creating companies with a different vision. So that is an approach that I can distribute. A very interesting approach. To move on to questions in the room, after we have the Pro Domain's website, OP3FT has a duty of neutrality, and we shouldn't highlight one partnership over another. We will show the Pro Domain website dealing with Frogans addresses. So, have an address there, address hyphen frogans.com. You can see the dedicated website that the company made to present the Frogans project. The architecture is in five. In large sections, one section presenting the project, the Frogans technology, with this new publication space open to publishers for them to create a new type of site with new addresses with phone mobile navigation. You have a part on the Frogans networks and addresses with an explanation of what is an, a Frogans address in the format. Also, international addresses, but I will come back to that. That was covered by Benjamin earlier. 
Of course, we can register your four GANS networks like May Club and New Technic with the reasons why a company or an individual at a given point in time may decide that I would like this address format. It relates to my brand, either for publishing or to protect their immaterial assets. So we have the rationale for these registrations with the terms and conditions and tariffs. And then the part and co-domains and frogans. A bit like the presentation given yesterday by Alexi on why. Why frogans? Why third or four people working day in, day out on this? What's driving the teams and experts whom you have seen for the past two days to build this new internet layer, this new space of freedom, as you may have seen with the web in the 90s? These are values that the FCR account administrators all share. So we have a dedicated section. Before moving on to a Q&A, I'd like to point out that on the ecosystem for addressing its only beginning, we're fortunate here to have pioneers, people who are positioned because of their belief in the project and they see opportunities. But to become an FCR account administrator, no need to be accredited. Just open up an, an account with the uh, Frogans Core Registry so that co-construction of an ecosystem is still in progress and there are many other players who are ready to join us. And if there are others interested of embarking with us or behind your computer um, or over the internet, you're interested, contact us. The entire team, OP3FT, is really working for you. And we are here to promote employment, innovation, and new activities. Thank you, Ranuald. I'll be coming back to you anyway for you to conclude on this presentation. Let's move on to questions. As you can see, there's a central theme for this FTC, too. The fact of being a phase of materialization. Tonight, you have had several examples with the sites, with the pioneers for addressing. So do not hesitate to, to put your questions to them. How to obtain your address or their ex expertise as pioneer. It's not easy to be a pioneer. It's not always things that will work first try. So as Romuald just said, it's an act of faith because you believe in the project. And in that respect, the presence of these gentlemen is interesting and shows the worth of this project. We're delighted to have you at this level. So please put your questions. Otherwise, we will give the floor back to Romuald to conclude on that, but I can see that there are questions. Hello. On client's reaction, I'd like to express my opinion. I work in the same line of business for a company called CLC, same line of business as Mathieu. When we talk to clients about Furgans, the first reaction is that all is more expensive with always a smaller budget. Unfortunately, we'll have to prove to them the added value of Frogans before we can tell them to reserve their address. Next, to come back to addresses, I have a question about addresses. I think I understood that Swatch could register the watch network. Recently, with the new extensions, we saw that there are private companies that I will not name, their leaders on the internet, uh, e-business trying to register generic extensions for private purposes to keep a domain name, for example, computer, well, no, pc.computer, uh, tablet.computer. To what extent does foreground guarantee fairness with respect to the use of 
network names? That's my first Merci. question. Merci pour ces deux Thank questions. you so much for those two questions. I'll answer your two questions, if I may, because it's a part of the work that the entire team in promotion has been carried out, but not only. To give rise to an ecosystem, you need to understand it. I've met with a lot of uh, brand owners saying that you always ask us for more with a small and smaller budget. And this is clearly a problem for legal departments. There are more and more constraints. This is in the global world with a lot of problems to be dealt with. And that's how they see things. But there are several things in that respect. First of all, the co-founders and co-creators did not create the technology to bother these people. Our DNA was, isn't there to see all the brand holders to make them spend money. Proof of the pudding is that our communication isn't about sunrise or excess costs for brand owners. It's all about informing by seeing that there is this technology and you may position yourself on it or not. You may submit the same problem, except that the costs for the brand owners, the cost is affordable or it can be absorbed in their budget. The third point, and more importantly, is that the value and the importance of a Frogan's address as for a domain name is all in the content and the use made of it. The most important thing is, of course, there may be people who position themselves on generic terms because there's no high added value content in which case it will probably not work. That's my answer to your question. These are things we can hear. But look at the other side of the coin. There are companies that are leading the way, looking, seeking to stay in contact with users. And they say, wow, these addresses can be meaningful. And this new type of sites really meet our needs for publishing. So it works both ways. As for generic terms that may be registered, these problems can exist here too. The Frogan's project was not created to bring out any speculation around addresses. It is true that there are, there's a possibility that some people may register generic terms. That's a possibility. We have set up various mechanisms with successive uh, uh, priority registration. There's no sunrise for no excess cost. Priority for some. We hope that our communication and the way we speak to people to bring out this ecosystem will all be founded on the collective intelligence. But like in any system, we cannot prevent any misuse. But when you speak of misuse, we will be speaking about the arbitration centers that exist and that can bear a testimonial on resolution of those disputes. But thank you for that question. Thank you. Thank you for your answers. A very good transition for me, too. With respect to distributing Forgan's addresses, you chose uh, FCR account administrators who are very serious people. I know them well, and I congratulate you. I would like to know, how will you choose the FCR account administrators to have serious people, like Safe Brands by Mali Club, by Mail Club, uh, Wittetik and Pro Domains, I must mention their names. And furthermore, well, while trying to disseminate for against technology, let me explain. To have a minimum serious people distributing maximum addresses or a maximum of people who are not very serious distributing addresses that are not very serious either. Let, I'll let the serious people answer first, and then I'll take your question. I think David. Well, I would so as not to be politically correct, I'd like to come back to your first question. Maybe 
They need to turn around and no longer have the feeling of fear. I'm taking something costs less of a budget. Okay, let's come back to the real world. I take what I need. I take a look at what's happening elsewhere to avoid any extreme infringements. And I say, you can live well in cyber squatting. It's not too bad. It's about having something that's more well thought out and not living in a system of fear. Yesterday, we spoke about the fact that to ensure peace, prepare war. Kivis patem parabellum. There's a moment you must be reasonable and reason. To answer your second question, I'd have been flattered to be chosen, but I made the choice. OP3FT did nothing apart from presenting the technology and what's an FCI account administrator. Are you interested or not? You want to do it or not? I'm sorry, but I'm quite direct. But that's how it works. I thank you for describing us as being serious people. I think there will only be serious people with a few crumbs, but that's life. Well, it's true that it's not about choosing the ecosystem. We distribute the ecosystem as an open standard. We present the information. Today, we're not dealing with addressing. Tomorrow, it will be the graphic designers and then developers. We still have the same approach of presenting information, but let's not be mistaken. When you present this technology, you have different behaviors. Some will say, it's great, let me go for it straight away, because these are entrepreneurs sharing a vision. Some will go a little bit further. Others will do it in sequence. Our objective is not to convince the world at large. It's to say you have technical teams that are there working hard, trying to solve problems and represent the fruit of their labor. And it's easy for the promotional teams because we're there only uh, to help. There's nothing to prevent FCR account administrators who are unscrupulous to position themselves. But you have the law. We're not the law. You have regulations. You have the private economy that will do its work and will regulate things as time goes by. Thank you once again. Hello. Thank you for those questions. Well, we're almost running out of time, and I'd like us to have an, have an exchange. It is very interesting to have uh, different views. Views that are enable you to develop new things. Romy, I'd like to give you the floor to conclude. And then we'll move on to the last part of our conference with arbitration centers. My role is not to highlight OP3FT, but the place in the system to ask each person to give a concluding sentence. I would say thank you for listening to us. I'm sorry, but in Lyon, the things that uh, we have no conclusion, that brings things to an end. This is only the beginning, and there will certainly be no conclusion. What can I say after that? I have nothing to add. I thought at the beginning, we're, we're at the beginning of an adventure. We hope that the project will be successful as it deserves to be. We spoke about alternatives. It is an alternative that's really interesting. Earlier, we spoke about cyber squatting, the need to register. We'll stress this part, and I would express my interest in this project in choosing what's really relevant to register and not be taken in by the multiplicity of choices you can have in front of you. And sometimes that forces you to make an unreasonable expense. So let us focus on interesting projects, and let's hope that the project will come alive. Thank you, gentlemen. Just before letting you go, we have a question on Twitter. Romuald, could you answer that question? 
I just read it. For those who can't read it, do you have any American FCR account administrators who have opened up Frogan's pages? Yes, there are three FCR uh, account administrators, which I take pro domains and um, mail club. But discussions are pending. It's not just a French product. We have a good number of registrars that we have met in Hong Kong last May to inform them of the existence of this uh, new business. So it's likely that in the coming months, American FCR account administrators or Chinese, Indian, Africans, Europeans, Russians will join us on this adventure. Thank you so much, Romuald, David, and Matthew.